So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to take the R2000 and connect to your PC in order to establish a communication with the software. After you've installed the configuration software, um, for a tutorial on that process, see the link in the description below. After you've installed that configuration software, what you need to do is connect the R2000 to your PC. In order to work properly, the R2000 in the PC must have a similar IP address. Now, in order for the R2000 to acquire an IP address, there are three distinct modes built in. Each of these modes, uh, number one being auto IP mode, number two is DHCP mode, and the third is static mode. Each of these modes can be accessed using the two push buttons on the front of the R2000 device. The R2000 is configured to auto IP mode by default. This is probably the simplest way to, for the R2000 to obtain the IP address and communicate with your PC. And it also works extremely well with an Ethernet to USB converter. So here is how easy auto IP mode is when using an Ethernet to USB converter. Step one, connect the RJ45 cable to the Ethernet USB computer on your laptop. Step two, apply power to the R2000. Wait for it to initialize and you should be good to go. If you do not have an Ethernet to USB adapter, another way to do this in auto IP mode is to directly connect your RJ45 cable to your laptop, like this. First step, second step, disconnect from the internet. Third step, apply power to the R2000. The second method for the R2000 to acquire an IP address is called DHCP mode. This is probably the best when you have an Ethernet switch. Use DHCP mode. And to do this, make sure you go into the uh, setup, the Ethernet setup, select DHCP mode, then reboot the R2000. Make sure the Ethernet connection is made between the switch and your computer. Plug in the RJ45 from the R2000 to an available port on the switch. Power on the device. And after the initialization period, everything should be good. The last method for obtaining an IP address is called static mode. Static mode requires the user to enter the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway manually. Static mode is recommended only if you have pretty decent knowledge of TCP IP protocol as well as how to make changes in your adapter settings. Um, for help, please see the software installation manual. We'll provide a link below. Now that you have your address mode chosen, made the physical connections, it now it's time to establish the software link using your PC. To connect the R2000 to the configuration software, the first thing you want to do is go to Windows Start menu and select the Pactware application. Once Pactware is open, you will need to add two devices to the project. To add a device, you can click at the top of the screen, Device, Add Device, or there's a shortcut button here, which I normally use, so click that once. Add R2000 IPCOM to the project, it will populate here in the project window. Now we need to add one more, so make sure that this is highlighted in the project window. Add one more device, and here is where we'll add the OBD R2000. This is the R2000 detection. Now find the R2000 IPCOM in the project window and double click it. This will open up the parameter window in the main window. To automatically locate the IP address of the connected R2000 device, click this Update button. Once the IP address populates, click the Connect button and establish communication with the IP communicator. Now, if, if no devices are found when you click the Update button, it does not find an IP address, just wait a minute, then press the Update button again. If no device is found after several attempts, you probably need to verify you have the correct network settings or the correct address mode settings stored on the R2000. 
maybe refer to the software installation manual so it can give you a little bit more information about how to make the changes in your adapter. Um, you may need to verify the R2000 address mode is compatible with your computer's current network settings. Once you are connected to the IP communicator, the next step is to find the OBD R2000 in the project window and double click it. The parameter window opens up in this main window. Now, the last thing to do really is press the connect button. If you connect properly, you will see a green swirling icon that indicates the R2000 is communicating properly. If at any time the connection between the sensor and the software is lost, for example, if power to the sensor is disconnected or the connection cable is unplugged by accident, you will need to reestablish the software link. To do this, get rid of your error message here. Verify that the sensor is powered on and connected properly to the PC. Then find the R2000 IPCOM in the project window and double click it. You need to disconnect. Again, come down here to the update to find the IP address. Press update. Once that populates, press the connect button. Double click on the OBD R2000. Click the connect button. Then you'll see that we are connected once again by this green swirling icon. The last thing to do is to clear the error, this red exclamation point that pops up and gives you an error message. Double click that, clear it, close this if you like.